Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Minecraft. So, last time I left off, I showed you off a few things I've added. So, there is going to be a change. This wall ain't gonna go this way. It's going to go this way and then up here and here's going to be another tower and that's it. It's going to follow more or less this island, this track of land, well... Up to that you know, river, ocean, lake, not quite sure, I haven't explored that far. Now let's get back to, well, here. I've cleared this area out, and as of this, I hate it, I hate it, and I need to fix it. And I have no idea, this is where I keep my stuff, so that's the only reason why I have not still destroyed it. Um, build this small house. There really isn't much to it. It's empty. But, well, not as empty as that one. Um, then again, made a bit of a pathway down here, stairway, away, and... What the fuck was that? A parrot. God damn, it scared me. Well... Here's going to be a blacksmith's shop. And the blacksmith uh, area will be around here. One thing is, this is just experimental, I'll fix this later on. This is just seeing what blocks I want to use, and what I like to use in general. I like it, kinda. Not... I've not decided fully on do I, if I like it, but hey. Then, then there is this one. There isn't much here. A bed, and that's it. But I like it. I've done it in the same kind of style as this was, just well without the detail. I mean, this is just symmetrical perfectly and everything is where it should be this is well for detail but usually it would be everything in these blocks and then these blocks uh, so polished granite and uh, orange this is not concrete this is um terracotta is it though god damn it and remember Extended wall a bit, but not by much. I leveled the ground a bit. I still have to do a lot more leveling of the ground. But, well, welcome. Unexpected, I see. But first things first, then there's this thing. It will be demolished, because it doesn't look the way I want it to look. And I have to fix that, because here is going to be my palace. Now, let's check this out. So, I've been thinking. I want to make my world unique, my town unique. What can I do to make it unique? So... I've decided to, instead of churches and chapels, make mosques. Because, well, who does that in Minecraft? This is hard to build, not gonna lie. And it still doesn't look gr great. But, well... Yeah. So, this mosque... So, I've styled most of these mosques on the mosques that already exist. This one is known as the as Yalska Jamia. Jamia in Bosnian means mosque. So why is it called that? It's right next to the river Yala. I mean if you can call it a river, technically it's a river, but the only time you actually feel like it's a river is as is when there's about to be a flooding of the areas down the river well basically it's it's not really a river for most of the year it barely has any water in it but i guess i know it rain um how old is it it's it was built in the 16th century and yeah there isn't much about it Let's enter. So, I've looked it up online, 
and the pictures from that period had the green carpet like greenish uh, red carpet greenish fence but well I, the only greenish fence I could get is well that ugly wood so that was not an option um next up this also doesn't look the way it should because there should be a, I should have made a bit of a hole here but well uh, because the wall on this side is flat that doesn't make sense for me to do not right now at least uh, if you're wondering why are there stairs here in this corner this is called the um, mihrab uh, and well during the Friday prayer the Imam will climb up here and basically tell whatever well the race lemma which was or well lima wrote him to say basically like be a good person and whatever a bookshelf and all well, this needs to be fixed yes i tried to make a mosaic floor but at least i got myself a roof i love this it looks beautiful and it doesn't look that far off from the original one well, from the real one. And that's about it. So, around the mosques, around the mosque, I've put andesite on the bottom, even though I guess cobblestone would be a bit more accurate, but then again, it's a bit too tacky and just a bit too grey for the build. Um, so, brick roof, and here's the minaret. Yep, I've copied those ones a bit when it comes to the final roof of it. Here is another mosque. So, it looks a bit weird, I know, um, but it is one of the oldest, mos oldest mosques in Bosnia. I am well aware that I've just butchered it and I sounded wrong, but it's called uh, the mosque at Kushlat, uh, and basically it's built on a cliff. Yeah. So, if I remember correctly, it was built between 1460 and 1480, so that's very old by Bosnian standards because not much survives for long and it managed to survive up to 1992 or 1993 that's when it was blown up but well it was rebuilt uh, the minaret doesn't have as much detail as it should have but because well it's tiny compared unlike well the this one it doesn't really soar that high up in the sky so i don't have much of liberty to do whatever i whatever i want so that's the best I could do for now. Um, I've also tried to mimic the landscape look around it because one side is um, nearly entirely covered in dirt and stone. Well, not really because it wants to be because, well, probably, as we'll say, Selena. Uh, well, when the ground shifts. So oh, when the earth slides down, how do I put it? Well, it rains and then it go. It rain falls down to the stone and then on the stone, which is like the foundation of it, uh, it just becomes unstable. And unless there are trees, you're not lucky. It could even move a fucking house. That was a big issue during the flooding in the Bos great floods of Bosnia that were in 2014. A lot of people build houses on unsecured grounds and then just, you know, house comes crashing down and... Oh god, that was, that was a horrifying time to be a Bosnian. But let's enter. Um, it looks nice. Once again, I've tried to copy how it looks. This is the best I could do for the roof. Um, sadly, you can't really add half a fence. That's the best I could do, and uh, once again, here's where the Imam would be during the prayer. 
if you're so if you're going to say well it makes no sense if you understand Islam and well mosques in general this one points this way that one points this way that makes no sense and it shouldn't be done like that but well there's not much of a choice if I rotated it I would have to demolish all of that and that was just not going to happen um because they all tend to point point to Mecca I think only the ones in Old Andalusia did not point there I think they pointed to Jerusalem Oh, I forgot, because it's not something I often read about. That is another mosque we are going to talk about. So, if you're wondering why does it look so barren? Well, it was a ruin for about 70 years. And the only thing you could say that it was not a ruin was the minaret. What happened? Well, World War II. World War II, I think Italians kept the gunpowder in it. And, well, it went kaboom and, yeah. I think that was a narrative, Ignite, it ignited or exploded, whatever. So it was destroyed, it was patched up before that and after that it was just abandoned. It is another one of the oldest mosques in Bosnia. It is, once again, right after the Ottoman conquest, so between 1460 and 1480, uh, a guy called Muya Koteslia collected the taxes and from those taxes built the mosques. mosque. Um, yeah, it is being renovated today, but um, I'm not quite sure on what to do, because this is the only thing I could replicate, because it looks a bit weird, a bit odd, so it will take me some time to figure that one out, and let's get to the one thing you care about the most, um, Aya Sophia, so since... God damn, the world is lagging. Well, to be fair, I'm editing a video in shortcut while doing this, so it's not my brightest idea, but where I am still. So, if you're wondering what I've done, so first things first, finished the entrance, well, this side of it. There's still some work to be done here. I've built this minaret first. But I have not finished this area behind it, or well, this area in general. This is also the wrong, I don't know how to call it. It's a wrong building, because it should be like that one. If I understood it correctly. Uh, but this is basically done. I had to redo this frontal wall area wall however you put it three times or four uh, problem is i messed up first things first it was too f uh, too far well too far in back first i think then too far f to the front and then i messed up by one block after i finished it and then I was doing this roof so yay then there's this area, the roof part. There's also some issues, especially here, because I don't know what I've fucked up. But I guess I will find out eventually. Yay for me. Um, This area will be done, hopefully by the next episode. The biggest problem I have as far as Aya Sophia goes, this part. I don't know. I can't catch what goes on here in the video. I'm following as an in instruction. I, I can't understand. When I understand it, then, well, I don't. It sounds weird, but trust me, I have no idea what I'm doing. It really is the top part is done. And on the inside, which I should show off, and also I'm not sure this minaret is in the right position, but I don't care. Uh, because I already had all the materials in my hands, I just decided why don't I build it. So, 
so that archway this arch these arches are wrong that one is wrong i need to demolish it and shitty rain again this is what i'll fix and well i did fix these the one who i didn't finish that terracotta around up up there um i hate terracotta it's so good it's so useful and then it's so bad it's so annoying to use I don't know how to put it better than that. It's so good, it's so annoying. So incredibly annoying. And that's it. Doesn't look that bad. So, ladies and gentlemen, that'll be it for this update. Thank you all. Come on, let me just stand somewhere. Ladies and gentlemen, that'll be it. I'll show it off more in the next episode. Thank you all so much for watching, and see you all next time. Bye bye.